Hi guys, it's me again. Welcome back. It's me, Denzel, and I am gonna have another Kwentuhan video. 2019 is almost over in just a few days. Oh, it's already 12 a.m. It's December 24, and I wrote the things that basically happened to me in the year 2019. Now, I'm just gonna talk about it. Um, I wanna like share this for potentially myself in the future. Let's have a recap on my year, um, on my 2019. So I'm gonna recap. 2019 has been a crazy year for me, career-wise. The reason is because um, in the past year, in this 2019, I've gone through five jobs. Now, don't judge me or anything. I'm 22 years old. I go through things and life is hard. Things happen. Now let me tell you, my first job was in a call center. I graduated with a degree of media production. So I resigned in the hopes of going back to my passion, which is in production, um, media basically, anywhere in media. So I applied for a job in a production house, thinking that it would be really a production house but it turns out it's not and you can see you can watch my previous vlogs I talked about it being a scam and yeah so I left the company I worked there for less than a month because well I left anyway so the third job that I had is it's really what I wanted it's um, a production house that makes commercials but I only lasted for five months the reason is because <sighs> I don't know if I'm ready to talk about it on the internet. Some people might find about it, but my reason is because I my parents actually planned to uh, make me study for masters, but then my mom got sick, so we don't we didn't have the money anymore. So yeah, that's that. So um, I had to look for another job, which is. Uh, I worked at as a freelance production assistant, um, which is my position from the previous one before I resigned. And it was really a great. It wasn't really a great experience. I also had a vlog for that, a, a Quentuhan video for that. It's not really something that I would like to remember. It's like the worst. So now, present on my fifth job right now. It's present. I started there last October and I'm still working until now there it's also a production house post production house specifically we um, yeah it's a nice company I guess well I don't want to like jinx or anything but I am currently enjoying it I'm having fun my bosses are nice they're not as mean as the previous ones were I don't know maybe it's just me but yeah so that's that Moving on, um, health-wise, I can see that I'm not healthy because uh, I've gone through a lot. My body is trying to understand the changes that it's going through and I'm like, yeah. And um, a side note, I want to apologize for the noise outside. Since it's Christmas, almost Christmas in a few days, you can hear our neighbors. They're already having their small parties. So. Philippines, what's up? Anyway, yeah. So mentally, I think I haven't recovered from my past traumas in college. I might be like, you graduated last 2018. What's wrong, girl? I just can't. It's just, I just, you know, it's just sometimes you have this very traumatic experience before graduating college and just bring it along with you. And every time I hear a sound of a messenger app, like someone calling on a messenger app I'm like bro can you just stop it mute it or something because it really gives me flashbacks of or this is advisor calling us on our messenger group chat and it just oh my gosh I just I didn't I don't like it that's why all my apps all my messaging apps on my phone have different um, ringtones different notification modes. Uh, sounds because I don't want to hear the original ones because they bring me flashbacks. So yeah, 
Anyway, so spiritually, my relationship with the Lord. I don't know if you guys are as godly as anybody else or if you believe in God or not, but my relationship with God as of the moment, it's, it's okay, I guess. But sometimes I do feel guilty because I don't pray that often and I kind of wish I did. But yeah, whatever it is, um, I'm still thankful. And I hope that I could improve on that. Sometimes there are times that I do always pray. I always, you know, like, just... Sometimes I forget to pray because I feel, like, so confident that He is with me. And, I don't know, I shouldn't be like that. I should always depend on Him. Right? I don't know. Anyway, um, that's that. So, let's move on to my fangirl life. What's up? Um... Okay, we've got an EXO comeback late this month, last month, I forgot when. Oh my gosh, my brain is like... Yeah, but uh, recently we had EXO comeback with Obsession and then just earlier today, I mean yesterday, we have a Red Velvet comeback and I am such an SM stan. I am happy that they ended this year with comebacks. Not just simple comebacks, but comebacks that are good, that are worth participating. Um, that are worth participating at. You know, like EXO's comeback is like something that I've been waiting for a long time because they come back basically every year. What I miss the most about EXO is their winter albums. Although I do understand why they don't do that anymore because I uh, they don't want to go attend the award shows. So. I do understand that because it really it sucks but then again I do miss the winter albums because it's like it makes the Christmas spirit more complete in my opinion I don't know but yeah um also uh, recently I'm on, on my YouTube um, feed on my subscriptions and on my home button and I often see the One Direction video diaries for some reasons I don't understand I actually am a big One Direction stan and I do miss the boys and I did watch those videos when it popped up like their video diaries and whatnot like spin the Harry episodes and it just it's very nostalgic like there was a time when I'm like this is my life and I would never regret it I don't regret it until today I am still a big fan of One Direction I would never ever 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 like change um like even if they're not together as of the moment I'm still a big fan of One Direction and no matter what happens I would still support them I just um I know it's gonna be a long time before they get back together but I do hope that someday they will even if just one last tour that would be fine with me and they can just go separate ways but right now, I'm currently enjoying the solo music, but more I'm more into um, Harry's music, Niles' music, and Louie's music. I haven't tried, I tried to listen to Liam's, but it's just really not my type of, of song. And Zayn, I'm still bittersweet about him, because like, I just, I mean, I do adore him, I love him, I, um, I just can't fully support him, because like, as a fan, like, I am hurt as well. Like, I don't know if I have the right to say that or anything. It's just, it, they're a big part of my teenage life. And just to hear one of your, one of the boys speak bad about the others and like act like he doesn't appreciate being in one direction and stuff like that. I'm just like, I mean, I get it, but like, but still, like, you know, like, you have a lot of fans as well who supported you while you were in the band and you would say bad things about them. Anyway, no hate on that. It's just my opinion. Hope that you don't take everything I say seriously because uh, it's just what I think. It's just my thoughts and I don't want to offend anybody. And I'm not even a big thing, so I'm always apologizing. Anyway, just my, some people might take it out of context. So yeah, um, friend-wise, now here's the thing. If you watch my previous diaries, um, I have a diaries playlist um, where it's like a vlog but with my friends. So 
I basically just hang out with my friends. I speak in Tagalog in my Filipino language and it's not like my going to one videos. My going to one videos used to be in Tagalog but now it's not in English because I started to I wanna just um, have broader audience, I guess. Um, friend wise. Um, college friends, um, we're still intact. It's just I'm really worried about some of my friends because they're going through a lot. A lot of struggles in their families and I just one time I was um, on my way to work and I was crying because I was praying for them I really wanted to be I really wanted them to be strong I know that what they're going through is hard because I can't imagine myself going through what they're going through and I just do feel bad that they feel this way that they have to feel this way that their family made them feel this way and I just want to pull them away but I don't have the power to do that I don't have the money to do that so I hope that you're fine if you're watching this my friend I hope that you know that you have friends like me and who cares about you I hope that you're um, I know you're struggling a lot but do know that there is help there is always someone who cares for you I honestly don't know how to comfort you but on I'm trying my best and I just I don't know what to do I if I had all the funds to bring you back here in the Philippines I would but I don't so I hope you're okay yeah oh my gosh I'm sad anyway um high school wise and okay this one is kind of fishy but um you know there's gonna be that friend that you grew up with but technically you weren't around them all the time so you just like grew apart and then when you try to be friends with them you just you can't feel the connection anymore it's like you try but they don't reciprocate the feel the friendship so you're just like you just shrug it off for a few for a few years I don't know and it's just it just doesn't work it just it's not workable and even if you do hope that it works it still just doesn't work so what do I do I cut him off I cut him off out of my life now I'm not talking about a lot of people I'm just talking about one person I don't know if she knows she's this person and I'm not trying to be um, I'm not trying to drag her or I'm not trying to bad mouth her or anything it's just that we all grow up we all change we have um, we're not the same people that we were in high school and I've known that person like um, like not personally like we're not really that close we're not really that tight but it's just that I tried. I tried to be friends with this person. I tried to be um, as transparent as possible. It's just for me, like, if we, you know, like, we're not dumb. I just want to say this we're not dumb. We know that you feel uncomfortable around us, and we don't intend to make you feel that way. And we try in our part, in our part we try our best to make you feel comfortable it's just that it's you who's running away from it you're not really open up opening up your doors for some reasons i don't understand because we're opening up our doors to you and you just don't do the same thing so it's kind of tiring to like run back and forth towards each other so um that's the reason why i just um cut it cut it this person out like it's just tiring I'm okay now with my friends like they've been my friends ever since and if you watch my previous vlog Christmas vlog with my high school friends they're the staple ones just that some of my other friends wasn't weren't able to come because it's Christmas season so hopefully in my next videos with my high school friends would be science kind of complete yeah um I think that's it I am officially wrapped up in 2019 I hope my 2020 would be great I hope I could stay in this current job of mine for at least a year 
I don't know what's gonna happen in my career, in my love life. I honestly, um, I don't care about love life. Like I'm 22, and I don't care. Like I'm happily single. I don't need a love life. I just need a good career, a stable bank account, and maybe someday I want to have a, a business or some sort. I just want to have a stable bank account, guys. Okay, that's it. Um, tell me how your 2019 was. Mine is a really a real legit. It's a roller coaster ride. It's not the best year. Mm. It's not also the worst year, it's just a, a weird year for me. But I hope 2020 has more blessings. And I hope your day is better than mine. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and happy holidays.